Hello, my awesome and amazing Capricorns. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Capricorn viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Let's see here. Got the power of number nine. Some of you Capricorns are dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. Power of number six, you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. And power of number 11. You know, number 11 <clears throat> can represent the justice card in tarot. So you could straight up be dealing with Libra. However, you might be dealing with a Scorpio or possibly a Sagittarius born in the month of November, okay? But adding up the numbers brings me to the number 26. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. More strong Scorpio energy coming in through the number 16 along with Aries energy, picking up on Aries energy twice. Piscean energy coming in through the number 12, which would be the Hanged Man card. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or possibly another Capricorn born in the month of December. And yes, a lot of you Capricorns were either born at the latter part of December or the early part of January. Okay, so you may be dealing with another Capricorn or possibly an Aquarius born in January. Picking up on Leo, <clears throat> you could be dealing with the Leo power of number 19. That would be the Sun card showing up. Some of you were born in 1961, 1962, 1966, or 1969 for some of you. You could have also been born in 1991, 1992, or possibly 1996. You could be 21, 26, or 29 years old. Some of you could be <clears throat> in your early 60s or latter 60s. So you could be 61, 62, 66, or maybe even possibly 69 years of age for my more mature audience. Okay, so going to the power of number 26 for the beautiful star sign of Capricorn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> you know what? I have to get a sip of water. Give me one second. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Capricorn viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? What does Capricorn need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. Well, four of pentacles, you could be waiting for somebody to come. Hmm. They may be coming literally to your door. Could be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could possibly take you by surprise. They may show up at your doorstep. Or maybe you're manifesting for this in regards to a specific person, or you could just have a visitor in general just show up. It could be a friend, a family member, just randomly showing up unexpected, just FYI. Mm. For some of you, it could be your mother. If your mother is alive and well, the earth mother could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March for some of you. Somebody is showing up. You know, Capricorn, it looks like if you have a mother, okay, a couple of messages that I have going on here. If you have a mother that crossed over, she watches over your house. This is what I'm picking up on. You okay, Toto? Okay. She watches over your house. So her spirit, her spirit is there. That's as if, you know, your mother crossed over. Um, 
The other message I'm picking up on right now, Capricorn, you could be working on a lot of personal success right now, or you're starting up a new project. You could be waiting for a potential business partner to show up at your house um, or meet up with you in general. On the other hand, you could have gained some form of success in the recent past, or this momentum is building up. Now somebody wants to come in and check on you to see you know, where you're at in your life. Um, they Somebody could have gotten tailwind that good things are happening for you. So if this is a person that obviously might have rejected you, ghosted you, whatever. Um, but, you know, it's kind of interesting because the Empress or the Earth Mother in this deck has her back, in a sense, turned away from whoever is trying to come into the door or come to the doorstep to ring that bell. Think uh, Anita Ward in the 1970s. I think it's 1979 that song came out. Um, Anita Ward, I think her name is, uh, who sang Ring My Bell. <sighs> ha, the high priest. Somebody's coming for marriage. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. Right now, you're manifesting. You may also have a grandparent that watches over you, a grandparent that passed on, that is protecting you behind the scenes as well. Somebody could be coming in with a marriage proposal. What is this? Oh my freaking God, the high priestess. What? You could have, of course, I'm picking up trusted ancestors, which normally I don't get, but I'm feeling it through this card deck. This is the Green Witch Tarot. I love it because the imagery and the art is so, it's so friendly and so inviting. Um, this is a, um, this is a spiritual power couple. Spiritual power couple. Um, it's like you have masculine energy, feminine energy, because... The sun would be considered uh, masculine. The moon is considered feminine. Somebody's coming in for a major offer. This is what it feels like. In my mind, I'm, it's like I'm seeing the ace of uh, pentacles. Second card I'm seeing in my mind's eye is the uh, ace of cups. Show me the high priestess. What does this person want with Capricorn? What's going on here? They want to work things out. Seven of pentacles. Putting the work in. Mm hmm There's a spiritual divine connection or union that's going on here. Um, I'm going to go into the Romance Angels deck. Actually, wait. I'm going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. It's time for me to heal now. You could have gone through a healing phase from a past connection, Capricorn. And now this person could be coming in to like unexpectedly make an offer that they want to be with you because you're on some path of growth or success. The real question is, is this person really, I mean, I don't have deception going on in the cards. I mean, I could look at this as well as like a, a new manifestation for a new soulmate Capricorn. And that's good. Okay. But I can't help but not feel that this is somebody from the past. You could have been in a family that was raised highly religious and maybe you don't believe that way anymore. So, you know, maybe you guys have gone through you know, some chastisement, you know, of your own belief systems and what you think is real or not real, etc. So I do feel like somebody, I, I do feel like a lot of you Capricorns could definitely be the black sheep of your family. I love you unconditionally clarifying the earth mother card. I'm starting to understand our connection. 
So they know that there's something different and or unique about the connection between you and them. My life is not as together as it seems. They could be coming in to confess that because with the high priest or what we also consider the hierophant could talk about a confession. I feel you even though we are apart. And so it feels like somebody here is prompting Somebody's manifesting here. It could be you, Capricorn, or it could be this person trying to manifest to come together here with you. You could feel this person's energy or they feel your energy, but somewhere in the grand scheme of it all, somebody's trying to understand this connection or they are understanding it. So now they want to come forward and work on the uh, partnership. Um, let's go into the Romance Angels deck. Yeah, there you go. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, it's time for me to heal now. You experience more love in your present moments. So somebody definitely could be showing up at your doorstep. It could start off with a text message, maybe even a phone call um, that could, it could end up being like a domino effect or a chain of events coming forward that somebody says that they want to be with you. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. See, when we're in self-concept Capricorn and we are taking care of ourselves, we're taking care of our health, our wealth, our finances, taking care of number one. That's you. Doesn't matter if you have kids. You can't take care of anybody else until you take care of yourself. Somebody is highly attracted to you. I heard the, the phrase love affair, love affair. Somebody could be having a love affair going on right now. This person, I feel, cannot get you off of their mind. Soulmate, clarifying the high priest. Yes, this is your soulmate. So Capricorn, whoever you're thinking of right now, they are your soulmate. Flat out, black and white, nothing more, nothing less. Healing family issues. Remember how I said about family? Like I said, you could have passed on loved ones that are definitely watching over your house and also your well-being it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so a lot of you could feel like the scapegoat you know if you've gone through trauma through religious trauma through your family if you were scapegoated um uh, it, it's a little hazy to me that there could be if you're having a tumultuous time with your mother uh more specifically um the area is very gray to me because whether or not this mother figure, you know, if they've done you wrong and they treated you horribly growing up, et cetera, could, for some of you, it could be a father figure or just family in general. But I, I strongly felt mother, the mother energy, because we have the uh, earth mother energy going on. You know, your mother could have criticized you a lot growing up like nothing like nothing was uh, good enough. You know, she could have been like the mommy dearest, the Joan Crawford for some of you. Um, you may also feel challenged or blocked in your romantic life, possibly because of like, if you were raised uh, by parents that there was a lot of heated debates, arguments, abuse, uh, passive aggressiveness, um, cheating, lying, deception, all of that, and possibly divorce, um, you as an adult could still be going through traumatic childhood wounds of the past that haven't, you know, uh, have is exactly escaped out of your subconscious mind. So there, something about healing family issues. Somebody's trying to manifest to heal a situation here as far as family is concerned. honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together well you know what if there's a honeymoon card that means somebody i said somebody wants to marry you because marriage can come through the uh, the high priest so there's something here about healing family issues there's so many details you know but as far as on a romantic level somebody wants forgiveness capricorn they want forgiveness they want to be with you a lot of you went through a healing phase, healing trauma. 
trying to get past rejection. But if you've been in doubt whether or not this person that consumes your thoughts is your soulmate, yes, they are. My awesome and amazing Capricorns, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant Victoria will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.